Hi, everybody. It is Kathy, and I love to be selling. Come on in, everybody. It is so good to be with you. Uh, you're going to hear a little bit in New York City in the background. Um, it is Friday, and it is rush hour. <laughs> <laughs> so we definitely get a lot of honking and it is cold 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 here but do me a favor good to see everybody um just say hi uh so i know that you can hear me and let me know how your weather is is it cold are you getting a little maybe you're in the south or you're somewhere nice and warm do tell me about that <laughs> it's like below 40 here in new york so i had to bundle up bundle up bundle up arkansas thank you so much oh it's good to see you how are you great um, so good, good, good. Let me just see how everybody's doing. Everybody's saying hi. Good, good, good. Hey, you guys, how are you? Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Dee Dee. Good to see you. Hey, Sharon. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Elizabeth, Arkansas. Thank you. Okay, good, you guys. Um, what I've been doing, uh, for those of you, oh, we got a bunch of people. So it's like, hey, Louise in from Colorado. Good to see you, Louise. Louise, <laughs> Louise and I are friends from eBay Opens many, many years ago. I miss you and Jean Louise. So hello, hello. Hey, Nick. Okay, Florida's checking it. It's cold in Florida. Okay, and I feel much better, Nick. Thank you so much. Hey, PJ. Good to see everybody. We're saying it's cold in Ohio. Okay, so it seems to be cold everywhere. Um, what I've been doing. Hi, Lori. How are you? Good to see you. Cold here too at all. Oregon, I would certainly expect it to be cold, but good to know. Um, so great. We've got West Coast. We've got Midwest. We've got East Coast. We've got the South. Everybody's in. We've got Dorinda and Dorinda's telling me that it's rainy down in Phoenix. Okay, good. Good to see everybody. Um, I have been experimenting with a new And for those of you who know me, there's times when something comes out on eBay and I immediately announce it and I start talking about it. And then there's other times where I might mention it and say, hey, you know, this is going on on eBay. Um, but then I take my time to test it. And that's what I've been doing with this um, because it is a brand new, um, what do I say this? It's a new discount tool. It's been out since the beginning of November. I'm talking about the volume pricing tool, uh, but I did want to run testing on it. Um, and also to compare it to the other promotional tools and then get back to you with data. I also have a page of notes. I don't normally read from notes, but tonight I will be reading from some notes. And it's because all the information that I'm going to tell you, I vetted with senior staff at eBay. I'm real strong on that. There's times when I will make educated guesses, and I certainly will tell you that. And then there's other times where I really... You know, everything I tell you, I have double, triple, and quadruple checked. And this is one of those broadcasts that I have double, triple, and quadruple checked because it is a new tool and it can be confusing sometimes when new things come out. You know, you'll hear people will say this and people say that. Sometimes they confuse it with other tools. It can be a little like you're not sure what's going on. So I want to get right to it. So what I'm talking about is the volume pricing tool. And I'm actually going to i had it and all of a sudden now it's gone away so hang on a second is i'm going to show this to you and i will be putting this link um in the broadcast once i'm done because ebay has a really good page on volume pricing and i'm going to go to it so hang on just a second and see if i Right, and here we go. So this is the page that eBay has on volume pricing. And again, I will put the link on. Now, for those of you that don't know, volume pricing is only for folks that have a store. But you can get an eBay store for under $10 with a starter store. And I did double check that all store levels qualify for the volume pricing. And in case you can't see it, and I will put this link up, this is the volume pricing. So it's on an item that you have multi quantity, you have more than one. This is for a mini blue rubber duck. And if you buy one, the rubber duck is $2.99. And then as you go up, you're gonna get a discount. And that's the idea that you're getting a volume discount. The other thing the volume pricing tool is doing is you see this, you're getting these buttons right on your listing. And this is a good thing because it really helps to grab shoppers attention let me just come back to you guys for a second so hang on a second so there we go so the idea is with the buttons being right on your listing it grabs the shoppers attention because it's right there 
Now, just to be totally clear, so everybody knows, so volume pricing is multi quantity for a single listing. So you have to have multiples of the same item. Right now, it is not available for um, multi variation. Multi variation is, we'll go to my pen. I have a pen and I have it in blue, I have it in red, and I have it in pink, and it's all on the same listing. So from my listing, you can buy blue, pink, or red. That's multi-variation. So it's the same item, but in different colors. Right now, you cannot do volume pricing on a multi-variation listing. Clothing's big for multi-variation. I have the one shirt tonight. I have my red eBay shirt on. So yay, red eBay shirt. So let's say in my listing, I've got eBay shirts in blue, red, and black. That's not going to qualify. But if I have the red shirt multiples, and it has to be all the same size, so it would be all small, all medium, or all large, you can use volume pricing. For now, it's not available for multivariation. The volume pricing team did tell me, because it was one of the first requests they got from sellers, um, they absolutely plan to make it available for multivariation at a future date. Okay, so they've heard everybody. Um, but right now, it's just on a single item, multiple quantity of the exact same item. <laughs> now, if you've got multivariation, don't forget you do have other tools. You've got Promotions Manager, where you can offer a discount if it goes over a dollar threshold if they're buying more than one. Okay, so we now have three promotional tools. You've got Promoted Listings, eBay's Paid Search which top rated sellers, so people with out of store could use, or store owners. Then you've got promotions manager, again, only for store owners. And you can do buy one, get one free. You can do all kinds of discounts. And now we have volume pricing. The thing that I have really found good with volume pricing, and I surveyed, gosh, it was a little under a dozen um, sellers, all in different categories. So I just pinged a bunch of sellers that I know, and I said, are you trying it? And the majority of them were trying it. Every single seller likes it. And this is why they love it. First of all, there's no additional fees. Yay, volume pricing. Uh, we love eBay, um, and I love all the tools. But for instance, with promoted listings, you be if the item sells from a direct hit or click and sale through promoted listings. With volume pricing, that's not true. Now, obviously, during the discount, so it's less profit for me, and you definitely want to figure out your profit margins when you're doing this. Um, but it gets me more sales because it's right on the listing. It's encouraging shoppers to put more in the shopping cart. And I actually tested it on mobile. So I looked up a couple of listings on computers and then I look them up on mobile and if it has volume pricing first of all there's a little thing that on the listing it'll say um in fact I pulled one up what did it say you know what the discount is and then when you put it into the shopping cart it gives the person a prompt which is if you buy more than one or more that if you buy more than one you're going to get this discount so eBay is actually using the volume pricing to help you to get more sales when they put a qualifying item into the shopping cart. And I like that a lot. Um, just to let you know, because some people listen to me that are outside the United States, volume pricing right now is live in the United States, the United Kingdom, in Germany, and Australia. eBay does plan to roll it out to more countries in 2019. And let me date this, um, because I'm sure there will be changes to volume pricing as it's rolling out around the world. So right now it's December 7th, and I am in New York. You might hear an ambulance going by, um, 2018, okay? Um, another reason you want to use volume pricing on you, you have items that qualify. Um, and because it is December 8th, um, a lot of us are selling Christmas ornaments right now. And you might have more than one of the Christmas ornament. I've got a couple of listings like that. Volume pricing is perfect for something like that. It's great for jewelry. Um, I also did check with the team if there were any categories that you cannot use volume pricing. The answer was no. 
So it's available for all categories, all kinds of items. And again, what it does is it puts those toggles right on your listing, which is if they buy more than one, they can see the discount and it's right on your listing, which is a good thing. What that does, in case you don't know, um, when people come onto your listing, when you have the volume pricing, what it does is it encourages them to spend a couple extra seconds on your listing because they're going to be looking at the discount. They're going to go, oh, maybe I do want more than one because then I'm going to save 10% or mm, maybe I want three or four because then I'm going to save 15%. That means you have a shopper that is spending, let's say, five seconds or 10 seconds or 20 seconds on your listing instead of typically perhaps they're on and off listings in two or three seconds. When shoppers spend more time on your listing, eBay's algorithm takes note of that. This is true of all um, shopping sites, by the way, just in case um, you didn't know that, which is true whether you're on Etsy or Poshmark or Amazon, is the longer people spend on your listing, the algorithms notice that. And this is a good thing because then what eBay thinks is, oh, Kathy's ornaments are very, very interesting. Kathy's ornaments, people like to spend five or 10 seconds on Kathy's ornaments, but Fred's ornaments, they're only spending two seconds on. That means it helps me in search. It helps with what is called the stickiness of your listing. Because I did have some of the sellers say to me, well, you know, I put volume pricing on, and what I noticed was I'm selling really well the items that are in volume pricing, but they're only buying one at a time. <laughs> I actually have a listing like that. I've got volume pricing on it. I've actually sold two through the volume pricing. Everything else, it's been single sale. Well on it, it's like, yay, I think I'm gonna sell out probably like within five or six days. Um, but this is good news too, and I will tell you why, which is again, pricing has added to the stickiness of your listing eBay has noticed that they're spending a little extra time on my listing, and that can be a benefit for you in search. So I encourage you to try volume pricing for your items that qualify to help you to get that extra time from your shoppers on your listing, because it is absolutely a win. And just to reemphasize, there is no additional final value fee, no additional listing fee for using volume pricing. You can create a promotion and it is in your under your promotions tab in your store. So you can create a volume pricing promotion. It is a promotion through that. And you can also do it when you're going through the listing flow at the very, very end when you're offered to put something into a promotion and promoted listings right below that, you'll see the ability to offer the discount through volume pricing. And that's on that page from eBay. And I am going to put the link in so you can see that they've got great graphics on that. Um, and then once it's on, actually, let me show you this because I, I found a Christmas ornament with this. So hang on a second. So let me just show you this. And then let me sh show you this Christmas ornament. So I was searching Santa Christmas ornaments. Um, and by the way, there are over 35,000 Santa Christmas ornaments. And this is one I came across. Do you see this? save up to five percent when you buy more that's because this santa ornament is in volume pricing um now you notice this one and again if you've got single one of a kind obviously it doesn't qualify but you have this santa ornament see it doesn't get any additional widget you see this sant one and it is a set but obviously it's just unique one of a kind and then we've got this one in an auction and obviously with volume pricing it does need to be a fixed price through the volume pricing, you're getting this nice little extra icon on your listing indicating the discount. And then hang on, I'm going to click this listing. And look at this. And I do not know the seller. I literally was just scrolling through Santa ornaments. Here's your discount. They've sold eight. You see up here, you get this toggle up here, very similar to the toggle that you get on Promotions Manager. What's nice is with Promotions Manager, sometimes you get this toggle up at the top and sometimes you don't. Sometimes it's just at the bottom. What I have noticed with volume pricing, and again, I'm going to date this December 7th, 2018, you always go on the top of the listing. So it really helps to get their attention. It really helps to keep people longer on your listing and really consider buying it. 
and it makes it very, very, there's a discount available, okay? That is all good news for sellers. Again, they're keeping you longer on the listing, eBay's helping you to sell more, and that is volume pricing, okay? Now, one mini drawback right now with volume pricing is you cannot edit it once it's live. And I did double check that with the team because I actually had that happen to me. Um, I had a 5% discount offer through volume pricing. And I went, you know, I think I can bump it up to 10 and perhaps increase my sales. Let me just go in and edit it. Well, you can't. Um, so what you have to do is you have to pause the volume um, pricing discount in your It'll be in your um, seller hub under promotions. Then once it's paused, you can delete it. You actually have to delete the volume pricing and then you have to recreate it with the new percentage. But that's the only drawback I saw for right now. And the other thing is if you look at the Santa, let me go back to showing you the, um, the Santa ornament. So hang on a second. Is, oops, back to Santa. Oops, can I get out of this or not? No, it's not going to go. Okay computers acting up is there's over 35,000 Santa ornaments okay by doing the volume pricing on that Santa hat ornament is you get that little widget so when you're scrolling through scrolling through scrolling through it helps the Santa ornament to stand out remember only a minority of sellers right now can use volume pricing again the criteria you must be a store seller so that means all of your consumer sellers all of your non-store sellers cannot use volume pricing right now the next thing is it has to be multi-quantity of a single item. For now, the multi-variation do not qualify. And it does take a little bit of work to set up. It's honestly, it's incredibly easy and fast, but there are sellers where either they're not aware of it because it's only been out since November um, of 2018, so they're not aware of it, or they just haven't put the time in to set it up or to learn a little bit about it because they're too busy doing other things. But that puts it ahead for you and me who do take the time to learn it. I actually spent about 15, 20 minutes reading through everything before I launched my first one. I ran them for a good month because I did want data um, before I said anything about it. Then I did survey my fellow sellers. And then I did um, message a senior team member for volume pricing. <laughs> I think I emailed him like 12, 15 times <laughs> with different questions, asking various questions of him. Um, and he was really sweet. Um, so that's why I wanted to give information is it's only available to a minority of sellers. Now, anytime something is only available to a minority of sellers, this reminded me very much of those of us that were in the promoted listings beta for single quantity last year at the holidays. It was pay dirt because there was only really advantageous. Anytime you have a promotional tool, that only a minority of sellers qualify for, especially when it doesn't cost you any extra money to be using it. It is a total win-win. Now, I realize that my single quantity sellers, this is not going to help you at all right now. And I also realize that for my multi-variation sellers, it is not going to help you at all right now. But my multi-variation sellers do keep an eye on it. Because I definitely, you know, and this is educated guessing, I definitely, my best guess would be that you will see it roll out to multivariation, I would say within 12 months. Um, obviously, for single quantity, it's just not available. But my single quantity sellers with a store, you should be using promotions manager and offering discounts that way. Um, and also, my single quantity sellers is keep an eye out for something that is multi-quantity for a single item. And then you can use... Um, the volume pricing. But this is a win-win. You do get that little widget on your listing, which is a win. It helps you to stand out and search. Um, you do have the, the discount show right on your listing, which keeps your shoppers on your listing longer, which is going to help you. Um, and it encourages them to buy more than one with you. And all of this is a win-win-win. Um, Pam was saying that she hopes variation will be available to try. I do too, and it is something that I mentioned to them, and I know it's something they're really looking at. This was rolled out now so that we could have it for the holiday season, and then adding more um, 
parts to it um, during the next coming year, but that we would have it now for the holiday season was the goal of the team. And I said, thank you so much, because I know some sellers that are just doing really, really well with it. So this is really fantastic news. And the other reminder to everybody, it is available in all categories. So no matter what you sell, whether you're in business and industrial, whether you're in eBay Motors, whether you're in clothing, whether you're in jewelry, whether you're in toys, video games, CDs, DVDs, no matter what category you are in, you can use volume pricing. OK, and that's what I wanted to share with you. So take a look at it. I will put the link up so you can look at the information directly from eBay. Take a look at anything that you have with more on. Again, it must be the identical item more than one. And literally just in clicking revise and scrolling through, you can add volume pricing in 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and it goes live almost immediately. I find there's about a three second delay when I use the sell your item flow. Okay, and that's my tips. Use it, use it, use it. You may not see immediate results in the increase in the shopping cart size, which is they're buying more than one. But what's great is it's really helping to get more eyeballs on your listings because you get that little widget and then you do have the discounts right on your listing. So it helps to keep shoppers on your listing longer. And this is all a win, 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 win and great news from eBay and wonderful that they rolled it out for sellers with stores for the holiday season. Okay. And it again, it is for sellers of stores of all levels. So whether you're a starter store or an enterprise store, which is the largest store, all store sellers qualify for volume pricing. Okay, great. I'm Kathy and I love to be selling. Bye-bye.